So, we're going to go ahead and start our ELA review on Study Island. I'm going to show you a question, and the time does not start until I press go. So, we're going to read all the questions together and work on answering the question. In which of the following sentences are italics? Now, we've talked about italics. When do we usually use italics? Raise your hand and tell me. When do we usually use italics? Caleb. In big titles of work. Okay, in big titles of work. Who can give me an example of a big title of work? Cooper. A book. A book. Anybody else? BJ. A journey book. A journey's book, like our textbooks. Yes, very good. Logan. Uh, yeah, dictionary. Those are books. Somebody give me a little bit more. What's another example of a big title of work? Kiesha. A title. A title of what, though? A book. We already or said a, a book. Movie. A movie. Very good. There you go. Something else. Think about what do you watch on TV? What's a big title of work on Cartoon. TV? Cartoons. Cartoons. But what kind, like, what are you talking about the cartoon? Adventure Time. Adventure Time. So that's the title of a movie. Or a, show. A, a show. Very good. So a TV show. So italics are for big articles or pieces of work. You've got books. You've got shows. You've got plays. Now, little pieces of work. What's a small piece of work in a book? What's a small piece of work in a book? Freddie? Paragraph? Not a paragraph. Not a paragraph. Isaac? Not a sentence, no sir. Grayson, a chapter. a chapter. So how would you punctuate a chapter in a book? Jacan. You put quotations. Very quotation good. You put quotation right. marks. You put quotation marks. What is a small piece of work in a show? A TV show. What will, how will we punctuate a small piece of work? And what is a small piece of work in a TV show? Janiah. An episode. An episode. Very good. And how will we punctuate that episode? Very good, with quotation marks. Everybody with me? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's go ahead. It will work. Really? Yeah. All right, and which of the following sentences are italics properly used? I really enjoyed reading The Catcher in the Rye while I was on vacation in Florida. I really enjoyed reading The Catcher in the Rye while I was on vacation in Florida. I really enjoyed reading The Catcher in the Rye while I was on vacation in Florida. It's the same sentence, but how is it punctuated correctly? Which sentence has it italicized correctly? Which sentence has it italicized correctly? Go ahead and select your answers. You got about 30 seconds. I've got eight answers so far. Waiting on three more answers. Please do not just guess. Think about it. Ten seconds. Cooper. The whole book. The whole book. It is a book. So they punctuated it correctly. Now, would you just do the catcher in the talus and then in the rye in regular writing? No. Why? Why is that wrong? No, sorry. No, besides it just not sounding right. Um, Isaiah, is that the whole title? No, they did not italicize the whole title, so that is why it's wrong. All right, let's see who's in the lead. Ancient Freedom, who is that? All right, very good, Cooper, very good. Next question. Leo knows what he wants for his birthday. A basketball, hoop a scooter, two new games, two new games, and a pair of running shoes. What is the correct way to rewrite the sentence above? So, 
we already can see what we'll need to be working on. What type of punctuation are we working on in this particular sentence? Commas. Commas. All right. So you know in your mind already, I'm working and looking how to correctly punctuate with commas. So let's see what the answers are. What is the correct way to rewrite the sentence above? You got 60 seconds. Yes, you can move up. I've got eight answers. Very good. Nine answers. Which one is punctuated correctly? What is the correct way to rewrite the sentence above? You know you're working with commas. You know you're working with commas. So which sentence is using commas correctly? All right. I've got 15 answers. Let's see. Very good. Very good. What was the main issue that you saw in that sentence? Well, Logan, go ahead. Very good. So Logan just said two new games. He put the column between two new and then separated games. That's not including the entire or entire excuse me item that he wants to have for his birthday. What's another one, Isaac? Um, hoop, excuse me, that don't make sense. So he put basketball, but the hoop should be before the comma. Very good. So he should have put a comma after basketball hoop instead of separating basketball comma hoops a scooter. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, no. no, it doesn't. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Radioactive bubble gum. Who is that? Very good, Grayson. Let's move on. What does this what where does excuse me the comma belong in the sentence below? No, Tina and Julio are not my sister and brother. No, Tina and Julio are not my sister and brother. Now we've talked about this too. How in the beginning of a sentence you might have hey, yes, no that might set off your sentence. So think about that. Think about that. Let's see which sentence is punctuated correctly. Or well, where should the comma go? After sister? No, Tina and Julio are not my sister and brother. After Tina? No, Tina and Julio are not my sister and brother. After Julio? No, Tina and Julio are not my sister and brother. Or after no? No, Tina and Julio are not my sister and brother. Got 10 answers. Ooh, one more. All right, let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. 12. 12 answered D, which means our comma should go after what word? No. No. Because no. no. you have to go before you like say Tina and Tony. Very good. When you take, when you use a comma in your sentence, what are you essentially doing? Pause. Pausing or taking a breath. breath. Taking a breath. All right, radioactive bubble gum is still in the lead. Which punctuation mark best ends the following sentence? Go away. <clears throat> now think about that. You guys have brothers and sisters all the time who come into your space and invade your room and invade your things. I want you to think about what type of emotion or expression you use when you say, go away. A, exclamation point. That was easy. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got 13 answers. B, colon, C, question mark, D, semicolon. Let's see. Very good. Basically, how would that sentence read with the exclamation point? Somebody say, say that sentence. Go away. Go away. Very Go good. Away. Very good. All right. All right, we got some movement down here at the bottom. Spider Mermaid, Dr. Pancake, <laughs> Dr. Unicorn, who is that? Okay, Crazy X. Yeah. All right, and Radioactive Bubblegum. All right, where does the comma belong in the sentence? Instead, we can go for a hike in the Grand Canyon this weekend. 
Now think about what we just talked about when you're setting off a sentence. Think about where a comma would need to be. After go, instead we can go for a hike in the Grand Canyon this weekend. Instead we can go for a hike in the Grand Canyon this weekend. Instead we can go for a hike in the Grand Canyon this weekend. Instead, we can go for a hike in the Grand Canyon this weekend. All right, 15 answers. Very good, D. What was our set off word? Instead. Instead, that's what set our sentence off. All right, Crazy X just moved down to seventh place. Dr. Unicorn is now in second. All right, which sentence uses correct punctuation? So you guys are going to have to take a look at this and see. I used to go camping with my family when I was younger. That's our sentence. I used to go camping with my family when I was younger. And yours, well, you gotta keep your mouth. You gotta keep your hands off your mouth. All right, we got about 37 seconds left. 37 seconds left. How many questions are there? 15. All right, let's see our answer breakdown. 11. What was the punctuation mark? Um, a period. A period. A period. Very good. Very good. All right. Metal Marshmallow just moved on up. Which sentence uses correct punctuation? My best friend Parker used to come to my house after school. Remember what we do for names in a sentence, in the middle of a sentence. 